success with the F-5 series persuaded Northrop in the mid-70s that there was a world market for a radically upgraded version of the aircraft. Thus was born the Tiger Shark, first known as the F-5G, but later retitled the F-20. The Tiger Shark bears a strong family resemblance to the F-5, but is in reality a different multi-mission fighter with advanced avionics, a refined airframe with improved leading edge root extensions, and greater volume resulting from the elimination of the Coke bottle drag reducing fuselage used on the F-5. A single afterburning turbofan offers 70% more thrust than the F-5E's two small turbojets. The result is a thoroughbred fighter with superb takeoff and climb performance. The Tiger Shark has five external hardpoints, three of them modified for drop tanks. It can carry more than 9,300 pounds of free fall and guided weapons in addition to its two internal 20 millimeter cannons. Among the guided weapons that can be carried by the Tiger Shark are the Sparrow, seen here in the form of an AIM-7F launch and successful flight. Got a good one going, Virgil. The wingtip rails can carry two Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles. The Tiger Shark can also be used for ground attack with a wide range of unguided weapons. The plane's two built-in cannon can be supplemented by three 30mm cannon pods, four pods for unguided rockets, or up to nine 500-pound bombs. Guided weapons can also be used, including four Maverick missiles. The Tiger Shark is in every respect an excellent fighter. It has good reliability and maintainability and combines agility with performance thanks to its aerodynamics and the rapid response of its powerful engine. Despite these virtues, the Tiger Shark found no buyers.